You know what I meant. But what a capable fill-in. Oh, the Rottweilers are reunited. They're back in the house here in Philadelphia. Homicide and Rocky Romero. Homicide all too happy to step in as Fred Rosser is going to have a very different opportunity later tonight. There you see it, the World right. Historic Welterweight Championship from CMLL. Homicide, former Ring of Honor World Champion with that world title. He hung out with a couple of Havana Pitbulls, one of which being Rocky Romero. Yeah, a lot of history between these two. What a, what a treat, what a surprise. NWA Sekai Historic Welter 2 Champion, Case Loki Lamela! And shout out to Ricky Reyes on a great career, recently retired. Of course, also a member of the Rottweilers, tag team partner of Rocky Romero and Ring of Honor. Longtime associate of Homicide. What a great career. We wish him the best in retirement. What a great legacy he leaves behind. But Homicide returning to the New Japan ring. Sakura Genesis. And, and think about, think about what that means to him. Not only has he been chasing that championship, he's come so close on numerous occasions, one title shot after title shot. But the man who had been the, the constant, the denominator of all of this was Okada, from preventing him from winning the championship. Not only did he, he finally achieve his lifelong goal, but he also defeated the main roadblock to that title, Okada to win it. I mean, it could have also been uh, L.I.J. who uh, was the roadblock. You know, he reached the ceiling. He wasn't, you know, prioritized, you know, and ever since oh, he departed, just fight, guys. this is uh, what happens. This is what he was able to achieve. Oh, man. Oh, I can get a whiff of that. Oh. Day 7 day, IWGP, Sega Heavy Q Champion. And that's something you brought up last night, Alex. That stuck with me. I mean, there's times when you <laughs> look at Rocky. Rocky. Oh, the king of sneaky style. Oh, he spent time in Mexico. He can handle. He can handle it. Well, for those that didn't join us last night, you may be wondering why Rocky has shorter hair. Volador Jr. recently defeated Rocky in a hair versus hair match. Defeated Rocky in that hair versus hair match, and then last night, Team Volador Jr. defeated Rocky's team. That means that Volador Jr. is guaranteed a championship <laughs> opportunity sometime in the future. Oh, no. I don't know Rocky. that that is. No, I don't no, know, uh, I don't Rocky. I don't mean to out you on tele television here, but. And only in, is like more for me. Only in Philadelphia, the home of the Sandman, will you see the applause of consumption. We just ask if you choose to do it, fans, to do it responsibly. There are rideshare services if you need rides, taxis, friends. Big Just Five Guys chant. It's just two right now, the five. Right. And, and our, our dear friend, our colleague on the Japanese side, Shibata, had asked about Just Five Guys. And we know that, that Sonata, it's really lifted Sonata to new heights. Heights he hasn't been before. Homicide, yeah. Ooh, 
gonna stop. Want Sonata. Homicide gonna make absolutely everything out of this last minute opportunity to appear here at Collision in Philadelphia. Now, Homicide, <laughs> no stranger to this ring. He's actually has a very good record in New Japan Strong, but now he gets the opportunity to go with the champ. Well, what about that battle with Tom Lawler? My God. The crowd electric, you're absolutely right, Alex. Fans are enthused, excited to see these manlock horns. It was a lifelong goal of Homicide to reach New Japan. He did so last year. Philadelphia is so special. He saved the Ring of Honor in Philadelphia. Let's not forget defeating CZW, holding off their invasion. Boy, how history would be different if he hadn't been involved in that. And now Homicide looking for a waist lock, but Sonata reverses, and now it's Homicide back in control, going hold for hold right now. Nice leg trip there. Yeah, absolutely, grabs the ankle there. And you know, Homicide is, is so known for his, let's say, unconventional style. His ability as it's just a, a brawler. Sometimes you forget how technically gifted he truly is. Oh yeah, no, he's, uh, you're absolutely right. It's easy to overlook that. Uh, but did the referee, oh. anybody check for a fork anywhere on him? Well, I, I mean, this is Taito, so Taito to, to his. It's official discretion. Yeah. Oh, and look at the fish Oh, hook. man. That's a beautiful smile from Sonata. He's got a nice teeth. He certainly does. When you're the champ, you got money, you got money to get those, uh, those products they sell that, that straighten your teeth. Well, let me tell you, it is expensive. I just finished <laughs> up a round myself. I won't give the recommend. brand name. I won't give free advertising. We learned from the oh. blue example. Nice, nice, okay. respectful uh, end to that exchange. Hey, uh, Tom Waller's got a toothbrush. That is true. Now, I, there's not necessarily animosity between Sonata and Homicide. I think there is a lot of mutual respect. First of all, Homicide, one of the most re respected veterans in all of professional wrestling, but Sonata, you know, this is kind of what he has been about, particularly as he has formed just five guys, is, is fighting anyone, achieving victories, but although there's no title on the line, can you imagine? Oh. Shoot the half here, gets one. Can you imagine if Homicide were to pin Sonata it tonight? Be, it would be incredible. I mean, we, we talked about being a former Ring of Honor World Champion. He's been a top contender in Impact. He was right toward the top of the class for the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship. Well, homicide gave him a clean oh. break. All right, okay. And, and Homicide has a knack for, for wrestling and facing Japanese legends in, in not only Philadelphia, sometimes in this building. Folks remember. Thank you, respect, and we love to see that. Down the street at the National Guard Armory, team with Kenta Kabashi to take on Loki and Samoa Joe in Kenta Kabashi's other Ring of Honor match. Wow. Sign of respect here. So much sportsmanship here. Okay. Outstretched hand. Oh no. It's very uh. It's a it's a uh, handshake with a little extra sizzle on it. That's extra respect. Oh. 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 Not a, he knew it was coming. Uh, yeah. Uh -oh, oh no. The paradise lock we saw this last night. Oh. Now. We talked to our colleague Chris Charlton, Veda. And yeah, and Chris had some insight on Sonata's use of the Paradise Lock last night. Absolutely, he mentioned that, that Sonata really looking for a different look. You know, he, he did it on Paroma last night, he got away from it, but he, he played to the crowd almost disrespectful as tags were made here. And look, we, we talked about this uh, about a year ago. Rocky kind of lost himself, couldn't get a, uh, you know any wins under his belt, and he recommitted, dedicated himself. Oh. What a resurgence in his career, he said. Yes, maybe he lost his hair, but he is the current CMLL historic welterweight oh. champion. The run he's having is unbelievable. Don't forget the Costa Rican title that he won as well. Yeah, so he no longer has that, unfortunately, but he is on the, he's on an amazing run right now. Absolutely, Kenamori and Mel. Can we, Alex, you ran down Kenamori's credentials last night. Tackle there. 
If he can get past Kenamaru, no easy task. Like you said, defeated last night. One, he will then challenge Sonata and look to become history, make history as the first man to win both titles simultaneously. But they did such a risk because he could become a champion, a former champion. He could go from one title to no titles. He could end up with two titles. I don't know, but that Whoa. speaks a lot to how much Hiromu wanted as Sonata as now Rocky Romero turning things around. What? Impressive show of strength. And Alex, I'll tell you what, you mentioned Rocky's resurgence. The insight you have with both of these men, you've stood across the ring from Homicide and Rocky. They, a great unit right now. What, what do you think's working so well for them? I, I think they're tapping into uh, that, a little bit of nostalgia. It feels good. You know, they, they know each other you know, from a long time ago. It feels good to go back, you know, it's old school. Go old school. Stepping over into the figure four. Ooh, man, he's got an tight. Oh. Oh, there you go. Trouble, but fortunately, Rocky Romero able to break the submission. Clearing the deck there. The one thing Rocky does, the advantage there, he knows the timing. He knows what kind of punishment Homicide can take. Knows when he needs to come in and make the save. As Rocky charging in, oh. Oh. All the way out to the floor. Off the ropes. Oh! There's uh, some good uh, tag team here. Uh, good strategy there. They were successful at cutting off oh. Sonata. Yeah, and here on the tomorrow. On the outside here in the corner, it's Rocky Romero. And get him, get him, Rocky. Oh, oh, right in front yeah. of us here. One more, one more, one more. Give him, give, give him another one. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, man, yeah. Split him. Oh. Oh, okay. Rocky saying Okada, member of Chaos, his best friend. Now, Rocky takes credit for training Okada these days. I don't know if you heard that. He might, might have uh, shown him how to. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, oh, yes. And who teaches you how to do this? I mean, that is all homicide right there. Ew. Is oh. that, what, oh. what is, what, what just, what, what was that? And especially in the, great. in the time of airborne viruses. Oh, oh yes. Goodness. Rocky Romero taking a bite of his own. Right on the same spot homicide his, had his mouth on. They're, you know, they're, oh. they're close. <laughs> yeah, they just got a lot closer. Looking for his half of the strong zero. Oh, oh. nice. Rock is staying on top of Kanamaru. The leg, two. Two count only. And both uh, Rocky and Kanamaru, very accomplished uh, junior tag team champions in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Certainly both men with yourself, Alex. Oh, goodness. You and Rocky held those titles. Now the double oh, underhook. Beautiful. Butterfly suplex, hooks the leg. Two. Homicide in there to try to break, the, or sorry, Sonata in there to try to break the pin on Homicide, but Kenimaru needs to make a tag, and unfortunately he is isolated in the corner trying to fight his way out. He is. Oh, oh. got him. Slams Homicide and catches Rocky with a big body slam. And he's trying to he's trying to make his way to his uh, to Sonata, but he couldn't get rid of uh, Homicide and Rocky. Yeah, smart move by Homicide to maintain control and twisting away two suplexes at perfect position because if he hits the third, he's going right back to the red corner. Oh, cutting off the ring, cover two, two count only. Another tag, Rocky. Legal once again. Rocky Romero, homicide have been in control here. In this great tag team bout here. Sold out super no vacancy. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh. Uh -oh. Vintage Rocky Romero with a forever close lines. Oh, one ever. Two ever. 
And oh, three. it's the boot, boot on that one. That wasn't part of the plan. Oh, oh. man. Jibu kick out. 10 minutes of the pass. 10 minutes. Spikes him with that DDT, opening himself up to make that tag. Yeah, Rocky got planted. But Romero also starting to crawl back up to his feet. Oh, tag man for the World Heavyweight oh. Champion! That drop kick! That LeBron James level vertical leap of Sonata. Irish Swift sending the CMLL World Welterweight Champion into the corner. IWGP World Heavyweight Champion stepping down. Is it gonna time up? And we're... Oh no, oh no! Call Mike Post, it's almost paradise! Oh, oh! And Rocky Romero has been trapped in that paradise lock before. Certainly has. The wars between LIJ and Chaos, he's been on the receiving end of that, Veda. Ooh! Off the ropes, onto the shoulders. Here comes oh, the side. a headbutt! Off the ropes. Oh my goodness, that drop kick again! Single leg. Oh no. Oh, Go Rocky. For it again. And. Oh no. Rocky has no way to. He can't untie himself. There is no way out. Nowhere to run. The hands trapped, arms trapped. Knotted like a pretzel. Oh, man, now that puts, you know, a lot of strain on the neck from that position. And right on the coccyx, two. Two count only. Homicide trying to get Rocky's attention, trying to get this match, his partner back into gear here. Rocky breaks out, fires off a shot, but Sonata right there. Oh, Rocky back on his feet. Back elbow, though, catches Rocky, breaks the grip. Off the rope. Oh, nice. Oh, flying knee. Flying knee plants the world champion. And Rocky makes the tag. Homicide in. And that is veteran prowess. Rocky knew he needed to get Homicide into the match immediately. The moment he had that opening, he did it. And Rocky. Nice. T-bone. And Kennebar blocked. Two. And oh. And Homicide almost pinned the world champion. And that might have been a three count. Rocky was trying to guard that pin. Kanemaru was just a little bit stronger, but now again, Homicide. Oh, and Homicide butterflying the arms. Maybe looking for that butterfly suplex. Maybe a Jay Driller in honor of his recently past friend, the late great Jay Briscoe. Off the ropes, on the shoulders. Oh. Oh, he's got it inside. Oh! And right to the eyes of Rocky. Big boots there. Kanemaru, Sonata, double Irish whip. Nice. Close lines of their Beautiful. own. Beautiful. Rocky flying Hurricane Rana. Kick to the midsection there. Irish whip. Caught up. Rewind. Catches Kanemaru. This is good. He's got Kanemaru out. Dope Suicida. Got absolutely all of it. But it's out of ring. The cutter. The cutter from Homicide up the leg. Two. Two. Homicide. Oh. oh, my goodness. How close was that? And again, if Homicide can pin Sonata, can pin the IWGP heavyweight champion here in Philadelphia, I mean, what does that mean oh. for the future of Homicide? And, and oh, no. Dialing up 187. Trying to hit the cop killer. It's dead. It's Sonata standing switch. Series of standing switches here. Off the rope, Sonata. Back up. Oh, oh nice pitch. Three. Oh, man. Tadaiba de shi, GM for 26. Kanemaru de shi, Sanagi no shori desu. And J, JFG 5G with the victory here in Philadelphia. 
So now they're able to uh, roll up the homicide. But what an impressive uh, effort. I mean, how close was homicide oh, to pinning goodness. Sonata? And on short notice, Veda, homicide answering the call in under 12 hours of preparation. Yeah, taking it to the champ. Homicide said he got his shoulder up. We saw it, but it was Sonata with the three count. And again, Sonata just seems so rejuvenated. We know Rocky Romero, he is one of the Paradise Lock band. The Paradise Lock really, really turned the tide. Made it, I think it got inside the head of Rocky. Really, really, really unleashed something different out of Rocky. J5G able to capitalize. And again, this is, this event in Philadelphia and yesterday in DC, Sonata's first in-ring appearances as champion, so history made. And we will see him April the 27th. We'll see Kanemaru get his shot at Hiromu Takahashi for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. We will see then on May the 3rd, Sonata defend the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship against the current Junior Heavyweight Champion, Hiromu Takahashi. New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to Dallas, Texas. Friday, November 10th, it is Lone Star Shootout at the Curtis Cowell Center. Featuring John Moxley, David Finley, Mystico, Ultimo Guerrero, Kinta, and many more. Tickets are available now. For more information, visit njpw1972.com. NJPW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. Let me address the elephant in the room. Let me address the elephant in the room. Eddie Kingston can't make it to Philadelphia. That's all right, though, because I rang up to Kami Obari. I said, as soon as he's fit and healthy, get him on a plane. Let's do this. Round two, let's run it. But I am thinking about Eddie Kingston right now. I'm thinking about you, Orange Cassidy. But let's talk about the facts. AEW, international champion, megastar, pop culture icon, all these things. And I guess in that case, I should stand in front of this camera and I should say, this is the biggest match of my life. This is the biggest opportunity Gabriel Kidd's ever had. This is the biggest chance of my career, and I'm gonna win that belt in front of all my fans in Philadelphia. Hello, I'm freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. Sunday in Philadelphia, I put up the international championship against Gabriel Kidd in my eyes and you're gonna see the hurt and you're gonna see the pain and you're gonna see the fear whenever wherever i don't care so i could keep rambling onto this camera but i've said everything i need to say there's only one more thing i need to say to you see you sunday in philly see you sunday What a contrast, what a dichotomy. Yeah, Gabriel Kidd bringing all the intensity. Gabriel Kidd bringing all that intensity. Orange Cassidy also said some words. But it's Gabriel Kidd. He got on the microphone last night, Ian Alex. At the start of our event, right before his match, he even said that we were gonna show the world. He is going to show the world what New Japan is all about. He is rejuvenated. He is a huge opportunity here today. Yeah, I when I when I think of when I think of Gabriel Kidd, I think about the battles that we've seen of him against Eddie Kingston, against Fred Rosser, 
he likes to fight. I mean, it's such a different style uh, from Orange Cassidy. I mean, if he has an opportunity, he would much rather take your head off. Well, and let's not forget, he was preparing for weeks for Eddie Kingston. But Eddie Kingston's grueling Ring of Honor World title battle against Claudio Castagnoli. Well, it revealed that Eddie was wrestling with a hernia. He will have surgery. We hope Eddie Kingston recovers well and recovers okay. soon. Challenger, the young foodie. Came in King But this means that Gabriel Kidd has to prepare for a different opponent on short notice, but also the biggest match of his career. Could walk out with an AEW championship in a New Japan ring. And, and just like you said, Gabriel Kidd, I mean, Orange Cassidy also has prepared for a different opponent. I, I want to call very quickly attention to that right hand. That's the, the hand he throws, yeah. one of his key moves, the orange punch. It was, it was all but broken. It was by, destroyed. I mean, we could Buddy see Matthews, even, yeah. yeah. And even in those those pre-match comments, he just, just holding the belt, holding the belt, moving his fingers, seemed to in, further injure that hand. Well, he's had to rely, work around that uh, injury. AEW International Champion, Best of Friends, Orange Cassidy! Orange Cassidy seems unfazed. Yeah, and Orange Cassidy has been a fighting champion since he won this title. 186 days as champion? That's impressive, but to me, what's more impressive is in that time span. Orange Cassidy is the champion belt of the champion. In that time span, Orange Cassidy has defended that title 18 times successfully so far. Wow. The most recent one, of course, against Buddy Matthews, and well, Orange Cassidy was successful, but that hand is. There's a lot of little bones in that hand, guys. We saw Doc Sampson almost call the match. Yeah. Almost advised the referee to call the match because of that right hand. And you know, the other factor here, and I'm sure you can speak to this, Alex, is Orange Cassidy with that injured hand is also forced to have it taped up. I mean, that's a target. Yeah, no, uh, Gabriel Kidd is, has an opportunity here, and when you're facing a, a dog like Gabriel Kidd, oh. he's gonna take oh. advantage of whatever is the weakness. And we were about to see one of my favorite parts, Orange Cassidy. Hey, maybe that was a good strategy. Put wow. that injured hand in the pocket. I mean, yeah, maybe. Oh. 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 Again, Connor will tie up here. And Kid, I would argue, has the strength advantage. Cassidy, a bit more of a veteran, has that presence, that savvy. We talk about technique offsetting strength sometimes. Oh. Box the chop. Swing and a miss. It's Art Cassidy up the rope. Oh, Big wow. shotgun drop kick. And the give up. Hands firmly in the pockets. And here comes Orange Cassidy. Got Kid. Sends him back in. But again, these are big risks to take when you're already injured. Orange Cassidy. Uh oh, oh looking oh. to end this real quick. Look over the arch. Oh. oh. That the rope. DDT by oh. The Stopped him dead in his tracks. Orange Cassidy rolling to the outside. And already we could see one of the disadvantages that Orange Cassidy has by Two. being not just a fighting champion, but Three. he's on television every single week. He was going for Four. that tornado DDT, that satellite DDT, a trademark Five. maneuver of his. Gabriel Kidd saw it, had it scouted. You can Six. watch OC every single week, sometimes multiple times. Seven. It's very, very easy to scout. Eight. And we have a 20 count here in Nine. the man, getting the most of his opportunity fans. This Head. is such a, a unique and exciting match for a number of reasons, Eleven. but this title was created for Forbidden Door last year. However, this is the first time it's being defended 13. inside of a New Japan ring, so. Oh, oh Kid! Man. And that's the kind of fight I imagine Gabriel Kidd would bring to Orange Cassidy. That's the kind of aggression he, he needs to Cover. have. Oh, maybe. 
Now looking to get inside the mind of Orange Cassidy. He now in plain view. Oh, he got it. Those aren't, that those works. Aren't That's Al Bundy style. That's, that is half as cool. Maybe a quarter as cool as what Orange Cassidy Well, and you, as you mentioned, Ian, this championship was originally created for Forbidden Door. Hasn't been defended in a New Japan ring before, but if Gabriel Kidd can beat Orange Cassidy here tonight. What does that mean wow. for the career of Gabriel Kidd? This is an AEW championship. I mean, oh, he basically man. just punched his ticket. Yeah, certainly has. Starts getting paid, that's for sure. Crowd. Crowd. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. It, is that that looks like is oh, that David Finley and Clark Connors in they're, the balcony? Yeah. And they're are they just watching? Yeah, and watching, watching this. And we got, oh, the fake out oh. from Kidd oh, this no. time. Snapmare takeover we asked earlier. Oh, man. If if it ended with Clark, hooks the leg, too. And are, are they looking at Orange Cassidy, that blistered chest? Oh. You mentioned Veda almost every week, one of the, the most fighting champions. Boy, I'm going to beat him, and then I'm coming straight for Shabbat. Oh, look at that. Excuse me? So he wants to conquer AEW and Ring of Honor. I mean, Gabriel Kidd taking advantage of this opportunity fully. Oh! But David Finley and Clark Connors, speaking of Gabriel Kidd, like, I mean, they, they, they could be out here scouting Orange Cassidy. They could be out here scouting the International Championship, but Gabriel Kidd and Clark, they, they have that history, too. Oh. And, and, oh, and, and, and shades of a man he admires so much. Tens on. That snap, Brainbuster style suplex, two! Uh, yeah, you know, thinking about the fact that we got Clark Connors and David Finley watching on. I mean, are they here to scout or are they here to to show, to see somebody step up? Like, I mean, they, they attack Clark Connors, attack DKC. I mean, what what's the story between Clark and, and Gabriel Kidd? Well, we don't know, and it could just be that that maybe Clark has his sights on the international title. He was in that final four. He was in that four-way last year for Door. Could be that he wants to get in the title picture. So many questions here. As Gabriel Kidd, it lost in all this. Gabriel Kidd's been wrestling a fantastic match oh, here, Alex. Incredible, incredible yeah, strategy. Kick out. Five minutes at best. Five minutes. Oh, how about that? It's really trying to get in the head of Orange Cassidy. Oh, and that right hand. That right hand. Ducks the chop. Oh, Orange Cassidy. Man. Super kick and X. Oh, Cassidy man. in the blue corner. Look at that right here. Orange oh. punch. Oh. And Kid, thank God for that corner, yeah, Raina. Gabriel Kid is trapped in the corner, and I think that helped absorb some of the blow. Oh, the oh. end around Stefan. He used the swim move on Stefan to get around to attack Kid. But Ian, every time Orange Cassidy gets going, he, he keeps pausing to kind of cradle that hand a little bit. Oh, big forearm there. Cassidy up top. And oh, oh, oh. Man, they got everything there. Oh, but now holding that arm and that elbow. Back fist misses, kid. Oh, wait a minute. Cassidy up and That's over. The ropes, that's the clothesline. Orange Cassidy around the world. Oh. There it is, Vena. You called it earlier, the satellite DDT. Hook the leg, it. two, and oh. Gabriel Kidd kicks out. Orange Cassidy finally oh. able to plant Gabriel Kidd, but you can see Cassidy is in trouble. He is in pain. He is slow to recover at this point in the match. And it'll be a tale of two tests here. Cassidy testing the hand. And then Kidd testing his resilience. He had the advantage for so long in the early going, but can he get back into gear here? Well, Orange Cassidy, even though he hit him with that spinning DDT, I mean, he's slow to capitalize. I mean, there's too much time being spent right now. Gabriel Kidd is recovering. And, and he already oh. he already hit that big punch earlier. Did he waste his best shot? It looks like he's decided to try it again. Gonna and take Orange Punch and blocked! Orange Punch blocked! Hey. Kid front face lock. Oh, oh stunned stunned up millionaire. Gabriel Kidd is down. Orange Cassidy. 
Oh, wait a second. And, and he had to change his game plan, Veda, because yeah. normally he just goes right to that corner and looks for the orange punch. Instead, thinking about something different. Kid is in the mind of Cassidy, but Cassidy has the physical control here. Oh, got caught. Front face lock here. Wow. Game kid. Oh, oh, drops him. Brain buster. Got absolutely My all goodness. of it. Two and oh. no. And we almost had a new champion here in Philadelphia. That was the biggest offense of Gabriel Kidd. He dropped him straight on his neck. The referee checked him to see if he was okay. Somehow, Orange Cassidy kicking out. And there was a change in confidence in that brain buster versus the first one, Alex. The first one was almost like a suplex. He did it just to make sure he could get the next offensive move. That was a match ending style brain yeah, buster. Absolutely. He, the confidence brimming, beaming off the face and the demeanor of Gabe Kidd here. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, I, I love this. He, he's very confident in himself. Oh, oh Cassidy goodness. Cassidy dropped the knee to block that. Oh! Oh! No. oh. And Kidd, straight right. Kid opportunity here. Oh! 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 Plants him down. Beach breaker hooks the leg. Two and. Oh! Oh! So close, but the damage to Orange Cassidy's hand. I mean, even if, if it would have been. Fully intact before Gabriel Kidd uh, went after the fingers, the joints. I mean, who knows what injuries were just caused. Cassidy tried to adjust that tape, but. Oh, and, and, it, and Veda, it's interesting. It, oh. might be, it might be swelling so much yeah, that he, yeah. has to, he has to take the tape off because it, he's just, it's just going to be inside of his head. And that might be his best oh. shot. Oh. I mean, he had, he had stun dog. Yeah. He had the, beat, the breaker. He, oh, he's oh, got goodness. a really tight front face left. Oh. Which Cassidy pushes him in the corner. Cassidy doing whatever he can to break that hole. Oh, goodness. Himself. Oh! Bad idea. He's hit Gabe Kidd with all of his best shots at this point. And Kidd has responded. Oh! oh. Wow! Yeah. Guys, we may see a new champion oh. tonight. Guillotine what a, choke! What a vicious side of Gabriel Kidd. I love it. The champ is, the champ is, is out. Is nearly unresponsive. Ten minutes have passed. Ten minutes. Gabe has been has been, been looking strong. If he can capitalize on the down the Orange Cassidy, right now is the time. Oh wait a second! Oh, he's going all the way to the top. Gabe Kid. Gabe Kid. Oh, oh nobody home. Oh, man, Cassidy has enough to move out of the way. The international champion. Oh, uh -oh. oh, right in, oh, right into a spinning this is tombstone. It. It's it, Hook new champ. Two and three, oh. Gabe Kidd oh. just misses oh the three. It Goodness. doesn't get any closer than that. And you, you asked me before earlier, Ian, how do you know when it's time to just give it your all and what happens when it doesn't work? I think Gabriel Kidd is experiencing that right now. He put everything into that spinning tombstone. Wow. And you can see, I don't know I don't know how much more he has left in him, but the same could be said about Orange Cassidy. How do you how do you put out Orange Cassidy? But I mean, he keeps kicking out. I mean, I I mean, that has truly been the story of his entire career, though, Alex. I mean, he is so easy to underestimate Orange Cassidy, and he just keeps fighting. 18 successful defenses so far, trying to make it 19, and Gabriel Kidd trying to make history Maybe. here in Philadelphia. Yeah, Larry in here, Gabe Kidd off the ropes. Whoa. Swing and a miss. Oh, punch misses. Oh! oh orange punch! Oh! oh but the Larian rocks Cassidy, Stacks him. Stacks him! Two, and oh. next! Oh, no! Goodness. On Gabriel the doorstep, Kidd. on the precipice, new champion. Oh. Looking for Kamara, looking for that double wrist lock. Cassidy blocks, Cassidy blocks, Watch has him. Now trap, trap, trap two, and then Cassidy retains. And what heart, what resilience. But at some point, oh, look at that. that's what it's all about right there. I see a, a couple or a little orange Cassidy's. Really happy to see the champ retain, but they, I mean, this is not a great scene here. But Orange Cassidy, you ask, how would he change his game for that? Orange punch, not effective enough, but that mousetrap, that mousetrap put away Chris Jericho, guys. That is a, oh, come on, Gabriel, come on, Gabe. Oh, the title here. 
it's disappointing. I mean, Gabriel Kidd came so, so close, but in the end, Orange Cassidy. Come on, Gabe. And what a bow. The outstretch. The outstretch hand of Gabe Kidd. Seal of approval from Orange Cassidy to Gabe Kidd. The handshake, and yeah, maybe the handshake's not the best idea right there now. There we go. Orange Cassidy, Gabe Kidd, tremendous bout here. Great effort from Gabe Kidd. That was incredible. I mean, he took Orange Cassidy to the limit. But it shows you just, just how strong and, and resilient and, and smart Orange Cassidy is. Altering his game plan match after match. But unfortunately for Orange Cassidy, as he tries to make history with that championship, extend the records he already has, that hand's not going to get any better, Alex. That's going to continue to be a gigantic target for any challengers that come up next. He needs to, whenever he has a moment, he needs to focus on rehabbing that hand, icing it down. Because look, all the wrestlers here come in with some kind of injuries. You try not to disclose everything, not to give your opponents, you know, uh, an edge. And in his New Japan debut, Art Cassidy does not disappoint the fans that came to see him here tonight. And there were many. Orange Cassidy remains your AEW International Champion. Uh, well, oh my god. Oh, I won. My hand hurts really bad. My chest hurts. I'm gonna go lay down. Keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Toklon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. It is a tale as old as time. Los Ingobernables de Japón. Bullet Club. A rivalry that spans years, nearly a decade in the making, Alex. And uh, we can hear the, the notorious sound of, it's a, it's a warrior music. Because every time Kenta is in this ring, you see a war. Well, he had a war just last night versus his old rival, Eddie Edwards. Absolutely incredible, but there's this is tag team action and there is another part of the equation tonight. I'm sure we'll get to that. And there he is. Chase Owens and Kenta. Kenta on the left, the strong open weight champion. Jace Owens leading the way, and uh, Jace Owens is kind of on an island right now, Alex, because David Finley's leadership, he says you're in if you're in, but Chase Owens hasn't got the thumbs up or the thumbs down that we know of. It may have gone on behind closed doors, but it hasn't been as public as some of the other endorsements or dismissals. I'd be confident to say that he's in. I mean, he's been the cool oh, cool. bullet club. But it's the
第3位ストロング無差別級チャンピオン健太ニーナイス I spoke、uh, with、uh, Chase Owens briefly earlier and I asked him what he felt what his thoughts were about the current leadership of Bullet Club about David Finley and he said he's with Finley He goes where the money goes. And yes, yes, we have a lot of questions. Does Finley approve, right? Right. But I just believe as long as you deliver, you're in. You've got to deliver. You've got to show that you've got that fighting spirit, that you're a savage. Once again, Alex Kozlov with the insight into the mind of Bullet Club members. No, it's a little too much, Veda. It's a lot. It's a lot, Kozlov. It's a lot. You just... see why he got that track jacket as we await A man that has always risen to the occasion. There you see, Daryl in the house. IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Oh, and there's, there's another Daryl. There are Daryls all over the place. Six-time IWGP Intercontinental Champion, three-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion. And what a what a team this is! One of the greatest in the heavyweight division, and then Hiromu Takahashi considered one of the best IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champions, who has his opportunity against the heavyweight champion in Sanada. Could make history. And, and Aromu may have liked the, uh, what Orange Cassidy was. Yeah, I mean, Orange Cassidy is a fighting champion, just saying. And as is Takahashi, Takahashi recovering from a broken neck to come back, win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight like, like Championship. Like literally a broken neck. Literally. We're not, we're not just saying that. And Takahashi seeing the Daryls here. Daryl joined us last night on commentary. He's not out here tonight recovering. He nearly got flat. He did. Yeah, yeah. no, that was. All right. L.I.J. You see Naito. Akira Kona, Los Ingobernables de Japón, IWGP Junior Heavy Q Champion, taking the title, Takehashi Hinobu! We'd be remiss, Veda, if we didn't mention the bad blood that has been boiling since January 2020. It was Kenta who ruined, ruined Naito's big moment in the Tokyo Dome, winning a main event bout. <laughs> Kenta ruining the celebration. Kenta remains extremely proud of that accomplishment. Well, it is to him. And that chant is just for the mere presence、right. of Naito. Well,、uh, hopefully they had an opportunity to regroup. I mean,、uh, they were in the tag team match last night in Washington, D.C. against Kanemaru and Sonata. They were not successful. They need to focus on what's in front of them. Well, what's interesting to me is, is previously, you've seen Naito, they don't take days off, but sometimes they will have a tendency to focus on title matches that have been signed. They will do what it takes to get the title match signed, win the bouts, and then on the road, sometimes they take their feet off the gas. Only, and it's smartly, 
to really bait their opponents into showing them their best moves. I think last night was strategic. I think last night they absorbed some of the best moves that J5G had just to see what's up in front of them coming down the road. And, and honestly, can you blame them for doing so? Because now they have the mental edge heading into some of these bouts. Well, like, a, like a scouting mission. Absolutely. I mean, I hope it was worth the sacrifice to take the fall just to see what they've got. Well, they were still trying to win the match. But J, J5G was, were the better team last night. Well, I mean, Hiromu certainly learned that Hiromu, uh, yeah. uh, that kind of mark can pin him. Absolutely. And Kenta wants some chance for Chase Owens. The crowd oh, he does. certainly deserves it. He's been, a, he's been a solid hand for Bullet Club. Well, he's, I mean, I don't disagree with that. He, as you said, Alex, he certainly thinks that he is in good with Bullet Club. I need to hear that from David Finley myself. Yeah. But I, Kenta, Kenta does seem to approve of Chase. And, you know, Kenta is very firmly still Bullet Club. Absolutely. See the fists up, the signature of Los Ingobernables de Japón. Also, La Facción Ingobernable over in AW Ring of Honor, their sister organization. This, this Spanish is impeccable. Uh, gracias, amigo. Going to kick things off with Hiromu Takahashi, Chase Owens. Hiromu also speaks fluent Spanish at his excursion in CMLL. Had a great rivalry there with Stuka Jr. Oh. 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 <laughs> Both teams had the oh. same thing in mind. But Bullet Club, no clean break there. No clean break afforded. And a big chop, straight right from Kenta. Irish whip, do uh -huh. do Charging in, Bullet Club, oh. Chase Owens, shoulder tackles. And then now David Finley in the back yeah, with you check gotta marks watch and out when, You gotta watch out for this when you're Chase Owens and you gotta imagine you're on oh. thin ice already. Well, why do you guys think that Chase Owens is on thin ice? Because he kicked out all the Australian fellas. They're gone. Yeah, but Chase Owens has been here. He has been here. He's been there when they needed him most. Listen, Jay until, White. until, I mean, Jay White was, was the was, ultimate person who's been here. Until I see David Finley approve of Chase Owens, I don't know. I think he's on probation. It needs to be an it, by You the, guys are on probation. Oh, hey, look at this, going straight to the eyes. Like, what's Finley looking, does he have a chart? Does he have criteria that's the same for everybody? Look I at don't know, if I'm Chase Owens, I don't want to mess up tonight, and right now it's not looking good. The top knot caught by Naito. Trust oh, me, no. trust me, Chase Owens has got tricks up, up his sleeve. And Hiromu. Oh, oh man. A brilliant trick right there by Chase Owens. Baiting Hiromo Takahashi into chopping him in the head. And now, oh, back to the hair. I don't know if I approve of this uh, hair pulling. You, Ian, they, what about you? What do you think oh, of this? I don't like it. I think they should wrestle, but I, I mean, you're. Should they get disqualified? Can we get some control in this get, match? They get five. Taito, give them a five count. You would love this if yeah, she was on the other foot. How do you close fist in this particular match? I do like close fist to the face in general. Naito with Owens trapped. Hiromu's second rope on the inside here. Oh, oh man, I got Philadelphia all riled up. Is he wasting too much time? Oh. Chase Owens has nowhere to go. And may have slightly less hair than when he started. Yeah, this has not been a healthy start. Oh, oh and he's trapped. Bullet Club. Oh, trapped on the outside. It's Naito coming in, coming in. Oh! oh I fall for it, but Kenta, Kenta does ruined it. the celebration. Oh, come on. Oh, that was people, great. Did you see Hiromo got dropped on the apron by Chase Owens? They paid for it with all their shenanigans. You don't mess around with Kenta and Chase Owens. I'll give you that. Naito down. And look at that, around the throat, getting his revenge. Just choking Naito. 
He just he just held him in place. Oh, is that right? He just put his hand and how, there. And how was he gonna get in the ring if he was holding him in place, like the way he was? Can you? He was just taking a little breather while, while he held. Well, uh, Naito wasn't Nido. breathing. I'll tell you that. Oh come on! Oh jeez. Oh well. Tag made. And Naito. Wishbone by Bullet Club. Those adductors and abductors push to their limits. You, you, oh, can, guys, you can't see it. Alex this Kozlov is, is giving Chase Owens a round of he's applause. He's clapping. You yeah, can there he hear is. He's it. You off. can see it. This, oh, boy. If you were any further in the Bullet Club's pocket, you would be inside their pants, what? Alex. <laughs> you would be Tom Waller's toothbrush. Into guys, the corner, Naito sent guys, down. Guys, quit, quit, quit hating. All right, quit I'm not hating. hating. This has been you. This is Alex. Like, you just you reek of jealousy. I mean, listen, I'm just simply appreciating the Tag most made. powerful faction in all of pro wrestling, Bullet if, Club. If look, the, look, they're in control. If there was a Moldovan outpost for Bullet Club, you would have been oh, in it long oh, there, ago. There, there is a Moldovan outpost for Bullet Club. Oh. And David Finley would have probably gotten rid of them too. Hey, hey, hey. You better watch Take out. Take it easy. Yeah. You guys, you guys, Bullet Club. listen, you guys have been over speculating all night. Chill out, have some faith. Let David Finley organize this new, this new Golden Bullet Club, Club. his Fight Bullet Club. Fight well, I will say that Kenta and Chase Owens are continuing to work very cohesively. So at least they are on the same page. And it seems like Kenta very much has the ear of David Finley, and he seems to know what's up with this new Bullet Club. Oh! So, I mean, that is That's probably Alex a good Kozlov. sign. I'm saying this, Alex Kozlov, put a pin in this one. Oh, you are correct. It seems like Chase Owens oh. at least has Kenta's approval. And maybe by proxy. Oh, no. Oh, come no. on. No, no. That's what the, the fans in Mexico did that led to the, the, the taunt that Naito does, it's a way that he owned his own self. He owned his own agency. He, don't, come on. That's Ooh, catches him with a hard form. Front face lock there. Oh! oh. Beautiful work. And Kenta just so methodical cover, here. Cover, two. And Kenta in control, but it's really Chase who swung the pendulum here, Alex. You're absolutely right. Integral member of Bullet Club. I'm just saying this instability I don't want to say insecurity, but this the, the there's no instability again. The there's unknown no of Finley, he's just a question mark. Yeah, it's listen, it's it's a little chaotic. It's a little chaotic. Just have a little faith. Everything will fall into place. Well, and keep in mind, the last time we saw David Finley, it was during that that Gabriel Kid Orange Cassidy match. Neither of them currently in Bullet Club. Who knows what's going on? Kenta doesn't know what's going on. He just got planted by Naito who might have a moment here. If he can make the tag, Hiromu is ready and he's he, bouncing on the apron. Naito is close. Outra Char the makes tag. the tag. Kent's unable to make the tag. Hiromu, who will defend his junior heavyweight title and turn around in less than one week. After that, a challenge for the heavyweight championship. Hurricane Rana there. Kick to the midsection. Into the corner. It's Hiromu. Series of close lines out of the way. And oh no. Shotgun drop kick in the corner. Two for one special on Bullet Club. Hiromu continues with the close lines. Get to the middle of the ring. Hiromu downstairs. Basement drop kick. Hooks the leg. Cover. Two. Two count only there. Kenta still in it, but has been neutralized. Crawling. Crawling towards the apron. And Kenta smartly, veteran move, trying to get out of the ring. Can't be pinned out there, standing switch. And Takahashi Hiromu out of the way. Right caught by Kenta, front face lock into an EDT. And with one move, Veda, Kenta has changed the tenor of this bout. Yeah, now Kenta, eyes locked on Hiromu Takahashi, who is slowly getting back up to his feet. Oh, Kenta, uh -oh. oh, in position for the go to sleep. And Hiromu, look for the time bomb. Big boot, staggers Kenta, creates separation up the ropes. Big boot from Kenta there, staggers the junior heavyweight champion, who fires back up. Oh, that's fist. quickly stops over that. Well, if 
but Hiromu. Whoa. Oh, Dragon man. screw leg whip. Again, with the arm trapped, pulling on all of the limbs on the right side of the body. Kenta's hands immediately go to that knee. He needs to make that, he needs to make that tag to Chase Owens. Hiromu looking for the tag in his corner. Owens in, and Naito in. Swing the miss, kick to the midsection there. There you go. Nice. Oh, come on. Again, taunting Naito and LIJ. Big back elbow, sends Owens down. And a drop kick rattles Owens. Into the corner. Naito sweeps the leg. Oh, no. No. We know what comes next. Oh, good. He blocked. Oh, no. Oh. Trouble now. Cover, lateral press, two. One count there. Naito firmly in control. Dragging Owens up, but Owens breaks out. Leg is caught. Naito smiling. Oh, now he, now he wants the, oh. Now he wanted that fist. Oh, swing and a miss there. Nice. Down to the knee. Owens, great How combination. Into the neck breaker there. How snappy was that? And fantastic two, Owens! That would have been a huge pinfall, not only ensuring the good graces of David Finley, but Jim also... Kenta. 10 minutes have passed, 10 minutes. Arguably putting him further up the line in title contention. And sizing up in the crosshairs. Owens with Naito, oh. gets out of the way of that big knee. Naito! Looking for no. Destino, Destino caught! Destino oh, caught! Beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Able to use that oh. strength. Wrist trap. Got him. Plants. Naito down. One, two. Oh, wow. Man, that was a close one. Very close. And now Chase Owens is waving Kenta into the ring. So they knocked Hiromo off the apron. And they've got Good. Naito. You're supposed to be unbiased here, Alex. Into the I, I meant to say that that was a good yeah, strategy. I think, that, I think the bias them, train team. left the station a while oh, ago. Ian. Rolling Naito through. Oh, no! time! The running Damn, knee connects. connects. And Naito's out. Naito's out. He's out. This Hook the it. leg. Two. Oh! Oh, oh. Hiromu from out of nowhere. I heard him go crashing into the guardrail. Finding now, a way to break the count up. Yeah, now back outside. Kenta now following him to make sure he stays on the outside. And meanwhile on the inside. Chase Owens loves that package pile driver. Look at end things here. Naito. Des. Oh, come on now. Using the oh. rope. Oh, big knee. Oh. Big knee again. Finish him. Just keeps rattling Naito here. Oh, and this Naito in perfect he position. Next. He's in trouble. Package oh, no. pile driver countered. Kick to the midsection. Hiromu off the ropes. Owens oh, sucks down. Come with a big kick. Oh, thrust kick. Insiguri. Hey, come on, Taito, get some control. That's two in one situation here. Rolling no! Through. One, two! No! Oh! No. Wow, the resilience on Chase Owens. Gotta give it to him. Absolutely withstood that onslaught. The heart, the resilience. Chase Owens on display here. Naito, again, a handful of hair pulling Owens back up. And oh, no! Hits. Owens down! Great combination there. Could it be? Destino! Uh, oh. Hooks the leg! Two! Got him! Fortunately, it was a two and one. It was a two-in-one situation. It was Hiromo and Naito against one Chase Owens. Chase Owens was not able to fight both of them off. I mean, anybody could have taken the fall there. Alex, you're absolutely right. It was two-on-one. But, oh, look at that. The disrespect from Naito to Owens, rubbing the laces, the tassels in the face of Owens. But what led to that two-on-one? It was Kenta's failed attempt at a two-on-one of his own. Got sent to the outside. An eye for an eye. And there's an I and L.I.J. L.I.J., your winners here. 
Ian, if there's one thing I have learned about Alex Kozlov over the past two days is he lives in the moment. He doesn't want to look back at what led to this. Right. You know, and I, I can admire that to a certain point. It must be very freeing. I'm so free. But it was beautiful symmetry, a poetic moment. Well, and also LIJ getting their win back from last night. Wasn't the same combination in terms of their opponents, but it is a win for LIJ. Back in the win column. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, here, I mean, you can see the faces of the fans. Disappointment. Disapp they're Disappointment at Chase the, Owens. They're and smiling. Chase Owens and Kenta took the, the fall today. I mean, yeah, they're we, we shocked. Have a, they're shocked. Have a, I just saw someone wave bye-bye to Chase Owens. Is that Oh, and, and, and Naito was going to throw the junior title. Remember, that's what he did with the Intercontinental yeah. title to the point it, it broke. I mean, I think I think Hiromu, just letting him know, that only applies to his own championship yeah. when he is holding it. And Taito raises the hand. Taito is the This is the new, this is the new music released by Rocky Romero. You can find it on Spotify. Oh yeah, I've been listening to it. It's good. It's catchy. Dalia Sucker playing at all the clubs. And obviously, it was the goal to refocus and calibrate Black Tiger. Rocky won the title under that name. And look at this. He's always wanted it, that championship to say Rocky Romero, the history books to say Rocky Romero. Oh, and, and Naito wants to see this. He wants to see a match. What are we doing this right now? Wait, 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 wait. Naito, tranquilo. Ah, uh, that means relax in Spanish, relax. Gracias. Take it easy. Title match? No title match, no title match. <laughs> Hiromo, I come in peace because a few months ago, you promised these fans worldwide a very special thing. You promised them an all-star junior festival in the United States of America. See or no? Yes, yes! Yes, well, I did a little work behind the scenes and uh, I got a special surprise for everybody tonight. If you could go ahead and play that, Mr. Producer Man, that'd be great. Next time. Maybe if he loses some weight. All right, hit on oh, yes, He's doing some cardio right now. Okay. All right. Let's put together a good card, you and me. Thank you. Well, that's going to be exciting. What an announcement. August 19th, Saturday night, Philadelphia, right here in the 2300 Arena. Best Super Juniors be, of the world? Yeah, that would be a huge, huge announcement at any time, but to announce it right here in Philadelphia, you gotta imagine every fan that's here tonight is gonna be lining up to get tickets as soon as they can, so if you're interested, 
You are definitely going to want to get your tickets as soon as they are available. It's going to sell out. Well, fans, as we digest this amazing news, we continue here in Philadelphia. Due to a suspension, the number one contender tournament match for the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship. Round one, that bout has been changed. Lance Archer was to take on Juice Robinson. However, because Juice has been suspended for his despicable actions last night, that spot in the tournament, the winner of which will face Kenny Omega, that spot goes to Fred Roster. Fans, we're going to take a look at what has led to this tournament to become the number one contender right now. ワシントン、そして今日のフィラデルフィア。久々にアメリカで試合したけど。楽しかったよ。ただ、ちょっと疲れちまったな。感想だよ。やったやったやったやったおまいゴーシおまいゴーシおまいゴーシ。<笑> Super unbelievable. Super unbelievable. Wow. Wow, surprise. Surprise. Wow. I'm so happy. So, so, so happy. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Nihon de yata. All Star Junior Festival ga. Masaka. Koko. Philadelphia de. やれるとは思いませんでした。これもきっとロッキーが頑張ったんでしょうね。日本のね。ジュニア戦いを見てロッキーもやりたいと言ってたのは聞いてましたよ。本当にでも開催されるとは思いませんでした。しかもここフィラ